What's going on guys, it's Stubbs here, welcome back to another video, and this time we're on Need for Speed 2015, we're about to tune one of these Evos, now this is an Evo 9 right here, and we're about to go ahead and turn this into a drift car, now I've had somebody say that this was a very very good drift car in this game, so I thought I'd take your advice and actually try to give this a shot, see if it's any good. So, of course, we're gonna have to tune it first, we're gonna have to modify it, we're gonna have to see what we can do to this thing. So we're going to start off the body kit, see what we can add to this thing. This I kind of like if we're going to turn this into like a time attack car or something like a track car. Sure. But since this is for drifting, I'm not going to go with something like that. Um, just want to look at the back real quick. Um, anyway, if we go to the hood, we have... No. Not into that at all. Um, that I kind of like. That actually looks good. Um, that looks alright as well. That just makes it look... A little bit more like a rally car, actually, instead of a instead of a drift car. I actually do kind of like this, so I might just put this this Voltex kit on. Yeah, sure. Well, let's do that. I'm not gonna keep this stock, obviously, because that's just gonna be a little bit too weird. Um, I'm pretty. Yeah, we can't uh, do anything to the splitters because we ended up adding that kit there. This I kind of like because it extends. Okay, if I leave it stock, I can just see the little front bumper here next to the wheel where it just like sticks out because the, the arch isn't wide enough so I'm definitely gonna go for either this up oh, that's the only thing we can add that's kind of good because then we can have some wider arches so I like that um, can't change anything to the mirrors wheels will leave till the last thing um, that actually doesn't look bad but this kind of sort of fits in with the whole car so I'm gonna add that on a set we can't change the rear arches um, rear bumper we can add to this thing that looks good that actually does look good. So I'm going to add that on. Uh, trunk lid. Um, we only have one. Uh, I'm guessing the spoiler is restricting this. Let's just remove this altogether. Actually looks really good without a wing. I don't see it does. And we have that instead. So wait. So if we add this, do we have any wings to add on? Like any spoilers? Oh, we have some of them. So we have this. That's it. <laughs> okay, no. I'm going back to stock. Um... I really like the standard wing on this thing. Do we have any... Mm, what? Oh, it just has some carbon fiber in the middle? Yeah, sure, why the hell not? It's odd, this on. It's very close to, to the stock, and except it uh, sort of just shows off more of the carbon fiber on the wing. Um, anything else? I don't really think we can change anything else on this thing. Um, I don't want to change anything on the hood, because it just looks stupid. Um, don't really like it that much. Window tint, sure, let's add a little bit of tint. Um, and overall, that is pretty much all we can do to this thing. I mean, we can change the stance, which we will in a second. Um, let's change the wheels first of all before we change the stance, because I want to see what we can add to this thing. I really like these wheels that are on it right now, though. So I'm really into these, like, multi-spoke wheels. Uh, some RPF ones would look absolutely amazing on this thing. I don't, I'm not entirely sure if they are in this game. But RPF ones is uh, definitely something that I would choose in an EVO in real life if I ended up having one. Um, what else is there? Um, that I really like. Super Legeras or Ultra Legeras from Oz. Those are pretty good as well. I'd choose those. Alright, so these are the wheels that I kind of want to go in with the end. Um, and we're kind of go with in the end. Jesus, I had the struck there in the middle of that sentence. Uh, the 57 Extremes because they have a little bit of a offset in the middle. So they sort of go in a little bit. Um, and also they're multi-spoke. And uh, they just look a just they, they just look good. Overall, so if you change the size, because I don't know if you change that to that, this just looks a little bit better, first of all. And then also, if you do end up changing anything on the tires, like this, the uh, the text is going to be a little bit larger than before. Because I can see it whenever it says Need for Speed on the actual tire. I don't know if you guys can see that, because it'll be kind of dark for you guys when you're watching the video. But uh, whenever I see that, it just like shows how... How, uh, how big the text is going to be. I'm not entirely sure if I should do anything to the tires. Should I get stretch tires? I haven't gotten stretch tires on cars in this game in a while. But I just, I kind of prefer the normal tires. To be completely honest, let's put some Hancock tires. Some Hancock. Alright, and that is it with the wheels. I mean, we're pretty much just going to have to adjust the stance right now. So this is going to get lowered. Pretty much as low as it goes. Track with the front is, we're going to have to bring that out pretty much all the way. The rear is kind of fine the way that it is. A little bit of camera in the front. And a little bit in the rear as well. Just a little bit more in the front. And that looks pretty fucking good. That's really low, by the way. Um, but it does look kind of good. Oh, the exhaust. That is one thing that we forgot to, to change in this thing. Also, the diffuser. Should we add a diffuser onto this thing? I mean, actually, this does look good if you're going to turn this into like a race car. But the exhaust is something that we definitely forgot to change. So let's go ahead and do that. 
real quick. Um, I think the tilted one is still my favorite exhaust ever, like for any car. It just looks so much better than just the standard one that just pops out. The tilted one just, just looks so much better. And this is our car. Now let's go ahead and actually change the paint job. See if there's anything decent that we can add to this thing. Um, so let's go to apply paint rep. Um, we have a bunch of these actually. We have a lot of these. All right, so we got this one. Uh, we got Big Lou. Come on, keep going down. I can see Earl's paint job. That's kind of funny that that's in this game. That actually doesn't look that bad. I'm not into that though. Um, there's Earl's. That's it. These are all the, the ones we have. I'm kind of down to go with one of them. This actually does look kind of good, the Taz. Taz's uh, paint job. That actually does look kind of good. So let's go ahead and add that on. Because I kind of like that. I think I'm going to go with something different for the wheels though in color because I kind of feel like they don't stand out enough. So I think I'm going to go with a gray or black for the wheels. Let's go ahead and do that. So something like this. What does that look like right now? Yeah, that definitely does look a lot better. It sort of matches the... Uh, oh, that looks so good now. Oh, yes. That looks really, really good. So there we go, guys. That is our Evo pretty much finished. Uh, visually. I will go ahead and tune this to a certain amount of horsepower. I'm not going to max this thing out because I know for a fact that if I end up maxing this car out, it's not going to be as good um, because I just feel like it just eats through the gears. The, the, the transmission in this game, the transmissions in this game actually I should say because it's on multiple cars, they're just not that good in this game. It just feels like they, they just suck. So I'm not going to do that. Turbo, of course, we're going to do this to around 558 horsepower. The last one is the best one for acceleration, so that's why I usually choose that. Um, so, has around 600. Let's go with some 650 horsepower, I think would be perfect for this guy. 659. Okay, we'll, we'll keep it at 659. I'm not going to change. Whoop. I still wanted to change some other stuff, but I don't want to change anything else to that. The clutch is on S. Plus. I will change this to p um nos i just it doesn't really matter i'll just bring that all the way up suspension um i'll bring this to race differential as well i'll bring this up to race because like i said before if i usually bring these up to around uh elite or something like that it just they just don't feel right um brakes are fine i can bring these all the way up that doesn't really make too much of a difference same with the handbrake and the sway bars again i'll bring this up to so maybe just race instead of elite because it just feels like the car just it's it's too stiff it just eats through the gears too too easily and it just it doesn't feel right whenever i max a car out because my rx7 right now which is in my opinion still the best car that i've had to to slide with in this game is not maxed out by all means and it's still um it's still the best drift car that i have in this game i, I still haven't gotten rid of it because i just love it so much so that's why i decided to to just keep that overall so this is our Evo 9. There you go. Now let's hop into the handling and actually mess around with this thing and go uh, with the slider a little bit further down to grip. So if I bring this down to about there, that should be just fine. And now let's go ahead, take this thing out, see what it drives like, and hopefully, hopefully, this is another car that is actually good for drifting. Because we've had some bad luck with cars in this game that are good for drifting, or that we thought were going to be good for drifting. So, you know what? Let's try give this another shot. Hopefully, we can have another decent car to slide around with. So we're going to enter it in the same event as before. Actually doesn't sound that bad. It doesn't look bad either. Like, I like that design. I mean, it sounds like an Evo. Pretty much just sounds like an Evo. Okay. Okay, well, it's it's okay right now on these rows. I'm not entirely sure what it's going to be like when we're once we're up in the mountain. Um, but let's go ahead, hop up here, see how many points we can actually get with this thing, and see if we can actually get anywhere near to 200,000, which is pretty much, I think, what I'm going to set the limit to. Because if we get anything like close to 200,000, I mean, the car is kind of all right for point drifting, but actually controlling the car properly, uh, it might not be as good. So let's go ahead and just enter this in this event, and we'll see what it's like. Hopefully... It's not as bad as I think it's gonna be. Dude, I, ju I just don't trust these cars anymore, man. Every time I do these these uh, these drift builds, the cars just don't feel the best. Okay. Oh, taxi. 
That one I ended up messing up because the taxi was here. But. Oh, come on, man. Oh, I'm restarting this. Fuck this. Dude, why is there so many cars just randomly getting in the way now? I'm restarting that. That was not that bad. I'm gonna say that right now before we even like restart this again. That was not bad at all. The car actually handled very well. Alright, let's give this another go. Hopefully... Hopefully we don't get any more interruptions. Of the uh, random AI just driving into me. Or driving at me. That was pretty average. Yeah, if I give this a little bit too much angle, it doesn't like to recover that much. So that's one thing to note about this uh, this guy sounding. See, like right there, it just it's like no, no mate, I don't want to recover from that. But it does get the points though. The little sort of flick thing that makes you like extend your drift sort of works on this car. It doesn't work as well as it does on the. Uh, on the R34 Skyline or the um, or the RX-7 but it sort of works a little bit yeah this car definitely likes to get points so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna say this right now I'm pretty sure this is gonna get 200,000 points if I don't suck this run alright if I don't ruin this I'm pretty sure this car can get 200,000 points like with ease Yeah, this is this is not that bad at all. So thank you for the person who suggested that I should go ahead and try this guy out. Yeah, if once you go up, it, it it just sort of depends the amount of angle that you that you um that you enter corners with. Because some of oh, okay, Van, it's fine. We got our points. Um, because some of these corners, if I enter it with a little bit too much angle, it doesn't like to recover from it, and. Um, if I just whoa okay, I just realized what I was doing. Um, if I enter if I enter it with like just a tiny little bit of angle, it just goes on for days. Like look at this. See what I mean? There we go. And those are our points. I mean, it just depends because this car doesn't like that much angle. Whenever you're sliding, it can actually slide. You can definitely get this thing to to drift really well. You can control it and stuff like that, but. It doesn't like- see what I mean? It instantly just was like, nope, I'm not gonna even continue that slide, I'm just gonna straighten up. Just because it didn't like the angle that you put it in. Um, so pretty much this thing doesn't like a lot of angle. But it's, um, it's very, very good. It's very, very good to slide. It honestly is. Okay, well, I'm not going to get 200,000 points, I don't think. I don't see where I can actually get an extra 25,000 points. I'll probably be able to get like 180, actually more than 180, but... Oh, game, don't you dare like... Oh my god, it lagged that it just didn't give me my points! No! Okay, well... We're at 185,000 points. What is this guy doing? What are you doing? Oh, hello, Evil. And my game froze. <laughs> Thank you very much, Need for Speed. Appreciate everything. Um, yeah, so far the car is actually not bad at all. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the car is going to be like if I if, like literally just max this thing out. Um, but uh, it's it's not bad at all. It's definitely not a bad drift car at all. Um, I feel that... Did I just cross over some spikes? I'm not entirely sure if that counts or not, but... Okay, it's fine. The car's fine. Okay. Um, anyway, the car is uh, is good to slide. It definitely is. It's it's a definitely a good car to slide. You cannot, like I said before, you cannot give it too much angle because it doesn't like that, apparently, but um, it's uh, it's good. If you can, get, if you can like, learn to control the amount of angle that you slide around with in the corners, you can definitely, like, just literally slide around with this car for days, and it loves to go fast around corners, so... This thing would have uh, 
Uh, like you can have a lot of uh, a lot of really good control over over your slides um, if you can just sort of practice with it a little bit. But it's uh, yeah. The per thank you for the person who suggested this car. It is a good car to drift with. I I I am gonna say that right now. It's a very good car to drift with. It's still not RX or like it's still not RX7 standard, but. Um, it's it's definitely up there. It's 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 a pretty good car to slide around with. But uh, yeah, that is gonna be it. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.